call someone a reptile and they aren't likely to take it as a compliment. But reptiles, including turtles, lizards, crocodiles and snakes have been around longer than we have. Scaly skin and cold bloodedness must have their advantages. Here's one. A reptile's scaly skin helps to keep it from drying out. Amphibians, like frogs and toads, are far more limited in their travels. Their moist skin makes them completely dependent on water, and they rarely live too far from it. Scales have other advantages. Snakes use them to help grip the ground. In most snakes, belly scales form overlapping plates. The plate's loose edges catch the ground and help produce a snake's legless glide. In turtles and tortoises, some scales have evolved into armoured shells. Land-based tortoises, like the enormous Galapagos variety, have high domed shells too big to bite. Sea turtle body design makes moving awkward on land. Their shells are streamlined for underwater mobility. Under that scaly skin, reptiles are vertebrates with a host of unique adaptations. Crocodilian design works well in water. The long tail makes swimming easy. And a flap in the back of the throat keeps water from rushing into the lungs, allowing crocodiles to breathe underwater. A few smaller land-based reptiles, like the horned lizards, are well adapted to desert life. With few places to hide, horned lizards' camouflage helps them fade into the background, and an impressive array of spikes discourages predators when the camouflage isn't enough. As varied and complex as the habitats they occupy, reptile species outnumber mammals. And though we refer to them as cold-blooded, their blood may be as warm or warmer than ours. The term means only that reptiles can't regulate their own temperatures and use behavioural means to heat up or cool off. <laughs>